all right guys so welcome to our tutorial on ui ux so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back and if you are new also welcome so my name is tosin Alo. um i'll be taking you through the course today so basically what we're doing here is designing a mobile ux for an ebook mobile platform so um before we get into it um i'll be using a lot of components just to make my work easy that will be a form of repetition because of if you are going to use a particular element more than once in your design it's better you actually have a component so if you change the master it changes everywhere across the screen so without further ado let's get into it so the first thing i do is create my frame so I can always create my frame by clicking this top section, the top left region of your screen, or I use the shortcuts. It will be actually advisable for you to learn shortcuts because shortcuts makes you work really fast and makes it work easier for you though. So F, then I'm working with iPhone 11 Pro slash iPhone X good so this is our frame so let me change the background color so that we see the frame very well all right so we see this the ash background color which i changed before is our workstation then the frame itself is our canvas so it's a blank canvas where you get the opportunity to be as creative as possible everything you can think of you just put them there. So the first thing first, I'm actually going to have to define my grid system. So I'm going to keep, click on layout grid. So in the layout grid, there are three options there. You see grid, you see columns, you see rows. But well, since I'm working with columns for this tutorial, I click on columns. So I'm going to use five columns and I'm going to use a margin of 12. so it can be more than that depends on you and what you're trying to achieve so i'm going to leave my gutter at 20. so with that let's start working on it so the first thing i'm going to do is i would like working from top to the bottom so um there are plugins in figma which gives you um options to get elements that can be reused you don't necessarily have to build every single thing from scratch by yourself so you can always just get um pre-built um assets already and just use them in your design to make your workflow faster so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go right ahead and get the um I'm going to get my, I'm going to go right ahead and get my assets. So I'm going to use for the top of my screen, which will include the network, the battery percentage, the time, and all of that. Normal basic um, icons you see at the top of your iPhone screen whenever you're using it. All right, so I've imported my asset into my workspace. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it at the top of my frame. So it gives me um, an understanding of where I start my work from. So I drag and drop at the, bot at the top of the frame. I use my align top. So I know it's aligned to the top and align center. So I know it's aligned to the center. So that's the first thing and we're done with that. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to get all the icons I'm going to use on this design ahead of time. So I don't need to go front and back when I'm getting them. So I'm going to use a plugin called Iconify. So I'll go to my plugins and select Iconify. So 
good um so i'm gonna use i need a cut i've searched for most of these things before so it's good to just pop up so i need a cut icon i need a home icon i'm gonna use this I need my search icon. I also need my okay for my books, my personal books. So I'm gonna use this. All right, so. I've gotten the five icons I need for now. Okay, one more, sorry. Um, yes, uh, my back arrow icon, okay. So I've gotten all my icons I need presently for my design. So now let's get into it. So what the first thing I'm gonna do is create the profile section. Uh, to do that, I start by creating an oval shape and I use the letter O on my keyboard. So it gives me the oval shape. So I hold my shift to give me the oval shape in a proportional, in a proportional manner. If I leave my shift, it dis gets distorted. One part is bigger than the other. So if I hold my shift back, it goes back. So I'm gonna use my shift and I need it to be 40. So let me zoom into my frame so I see everything very well. So while doing that, um, so my profile section is 40 by 40. Then I'm going to give it 24 pixels from the top of the navigation itself. And I'm making sure it's aligned to the grid lines because if we work with grid lines, that's what the grid lines are there for. So the next thing I need is my cart section, my cart icon, rather. Sorry for that. So I need my cart. So I'm going to use my cart, and my cart is going to be 24 by 24. So I select my cart and I select my image I image supposed image space and I center it and I make it 24 um, pixel spacing between both of them. Then I align it back to the grid. All right, so that's coming in handy. So apparently, I don't think I like this 24 for the distance. So let's just make it 28. Let's see how that works. So yeah, 28 works. The next thing actually you do is create our search field. So we're going to use the rectangle, which is R. Then I draw it from the start of the grid to the end of the grid. Good. So for the height of it, I'm going to give it 45 with a border radius of 5. So with that, um, I want to auto layout this so I don't mistakenly shift it while designing. So auto layout central, centralize. Then I give it 8 pixel. 16 24 pixels from the top then the next thing i need is my search icon inside my search field so i'm going to drag this into the search field so Go reduce it to 22 then it's 24 i need my text to describe 
the field and what it's meant to be.